Okay, so, and, um, this is, uh, the TED Talk, uh, by, um, Jeffrey Gibson. So, um, it's called The Exclusion of Native American Art from the Art World. Um, so he is a contemporary, um, artist, self-described contemporary artist of, uh, Choctaw and Cherokee heritage, who was disappointed in the world, art world's lack of inclusion of indigenous artists in major exhibitions. So this is um, someone that is experiencing and addressing some of the things that I read about in the previous article. Um, and he's looking for his own language or mode um, to represent his uh, form of indigenous art. So, and um, he started considering how, how indigenous art might look today if it had been able to develop alongside um, mainstream uh, modern art. So that inspired him to look uh, to other indigenous artists across America and so he got funding and he started traveling and interviewing um, and commissioning people um, to create uh, different works. So he uses this indigenous framework by meeting with and like collaborating with indigenous people from their respective communities um, to create like a, a completely new type of art. So I think the thesis might be something like indigenous art is alive and thriving um, when it is through the worldview of the people and it has the ability to solve the term and, and is given that space. Um, so, or something like that. So, but yeah, so one of the interesting things that he does is um, he creates in like this completely unexpected way by like commissioning pieces <clears throat> from the people that he works with, for instance. <clears throat> and then, for example, like painting his version of that work um, or like housing like the skateboard where he met with the skateboarder and he was housing that skateboard into a piece of rawhide. It was almost like um, encapsulating like that spirit of resilience. Um, so it was also, and, and also creating like a reciprocal uh, art piece. So I thought that was interesting that he had these ideas that went back to like traditional values to create these works that were like at times cyclic and like uh, sort of like a back and forth uh, transforming or like transitioning of, of, of a piece that became something completely different than it was at first seen or, or like categorized and um, one thing one of the things that he talked about was the unhappiness that he had in um, his isolated method of working and that he he actually hated it and um, when he transformed to working with community he started to really love creating again and I thought that was really interesting that uh, this aspect of like community involvement and accountability creates sort of like that different kind of result and um, I see that quite a bit in not just um, art institutions but in other forms of like even community interventions for example so um, those are my two articles for this week and uh, thanks and see you in class